See, I make a mistake too sometimes. So Aiden counted five vertices. How many people think there's five vertices on the pyramid? Absolutely, Aiden, very good. Aiden counted this point, this point, this point, and this point, that's four, and he remembered boop, to count this one too, okay? So we have five vertices, excellent. Okay, I'm gonna keep passing it around. The next thing I wanna talk about is the flat edges, or the flat sides, okay? Jason, you're holding it. How many sides of those are flat, if you can feel it and count them for us? Flat, like just like the wall. Five. Excellent, Jason. He pointed to each side that was just flat, like a wall. Like you could take it and put it down. It's flat. It's not rolling away. It's going to stay right here. If I do it like that, that's one, two. Three, four, five. Is it going anywhere? Is it moving? No. no. That means it's flat. Can you move out of my way? Thank you. So we have five flat sides. Okay. The next one is, I should have written this better, but the edges. And I like to think of edges as lines, straight lines. And this one gets a little bit tricky. Okay. Oh, Kelly's already counting them for us. Let's see if she can get it. Eight. Let's see if she's right. She counted eight. Every time you see a line, and a line is where this vertice and this vertice are connected. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Woo! Ah. See? Dangerous pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's count these lines together. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Wait. And now we have to count the lines here. Five, Five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Very good. Okay. So we have five vertices, five flat sides, and five, and, sorry, eight edges. That is a pyramid. Has anybody ever seen this before? <laughs> it's a box. A no, it's not a box. Gabriella, what is it? It's a cube. A cube. A cube is kind of like, what other shape does a cube remind you of? Elvis? A square. Excellent. It is. It is a square that's three-dimensional, which means it has more than one side. Okay? It's 3D. Good. So a cube looks like a box, looks like a square. So this one's called the cube. Who remembers what these little corners are called? What's that word that I told you? Vertices. Vertices. Let's figure out. I did it again. My hand is going faster than... Dracula. My brain. All right. Uh, vertices. Let's see. Bahar, could you count all the vertices for me? Very good, Bahar. I love the way that Bahar count, counted each corner or vertice and then, you know, she touched each one. So eight vertices. Excellent. What was the next one that we did with the pyramid? Who remembers? Elvis? After we counted the vertices, what did we count? The flat what? Flat sides. Good job remembering, Elvis. Flat sides. And we touched each flat side, right? So, Andre, can you count the flat sides for me? Good. Excellent, Andre. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six flat sides. And what was the last thing that we counted? Doha? The 
the line. Doha, how'd you do that? That was easy. You sounded like Andre, <laughs> but like your voice came out over here. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> Doha, what is the answer? Edges. Edges. Thank you, Doha. So the edges. Now, this gets a little bit tricky because there's a lot of edges on here. And we need to make sure that we count them correctly. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? What I like to do is I like to count the top first, then the bottom, then the inside. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. Do you see how that could get confusing? You have to count very carefully. Okay? Now, this is something that eventually I'm hoping that you guys can remember, but you can still count them. All right, so we have eight vertices, six flat, flat sides, and 12 edges. We're going to do one more. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's a little bit tricky. Does anybody know what this shape is? It is not a ball. David. A spear. Okay, it's one of those words that's kind of hard to say. It's not a spear. It's a spear. Can you say that? It almost sounds like this. Spear. Okay, that's kind of what it sounds like. Spear. Because we know that that P-H says F, right? All right. Okay, vertices. I'm just going to put a V here. How many vertices does this have? Any points on it? Elvis? Zero. Zero. Imagine zero. All right. How about the flat sides? I'm going to put it down and see if it'll stay for me. Oh! What happened? Why did the other one stay? Why doesn't this one stay? What happened, David? In circles. Is it eight? Like a circle. So it, keeps on rolling. it keeps rolling because it has what, Angelina? Um, it has like a round kind of body. Right. So it means that it has what? I'm waiting for somebody to say it correctly. <gasps> Thank you. Zero flat sides. All right. Now the edges. The edges where the two <laughs> vertices are connected. Any edges on here? Annie? Zero. Zero. Look at that. <laughs> you know how I like to remember the sphere? It's shaped like a circle. That's right, Clarissa. How'd you know? I look at the zero. If this is shaped like a circle. It's round, and it's all zero, and this is also round, so I like to remember that that way. Oh, don't you? What about the All right. Um, I'm going to just quickly show you the rectangular prism is shaped just like a cube, okay, ah. except it has a little bit longer sides, right? So the numbers for the vertices and the sides and the edges are going to be the same with a rectangular prism and a cube. I like to pretend that a cube, a rectangular prism is a cube that got stretched out, okay? Ooh. You see? So because it looks kind of similar, but it got stretched out. So they're going to have the same. Okay. The next one I want to do is this one. Kaylee, what is this one? A cone. Good, excellent. Okay, a cone is a little bit tricky, okay? Because I'm not really sure how it's going to work. It's rounded, but it'll stand. And it's got something on the top, but it's not really the same like that. What do we think? Who can describe the cone to me a little bit? Aiden, tell me a little bit about the cone. It is rounded. It is rounded. We're trying to use some of those words that we just used. Can you tell me anything about... Okay, what, what were those connect thingies called? No. 
Somebody help Aiden out. Because connect thingies is really not a math word. Jack? Okay. So it does, it looks like it has a point here, but it really doesn't have a vertice. Okay? It has no what? No edges. No edges, right? No edges. So if you have no edges, you really can't have any vertices because the edges okay, are not there. All right? So it has no edges. No, whoa, that was a big zero. <laughs> no vertices. And does it have any flat sides? Yes. David? One flat side because it stands up. All right. And the last one that we're going to talk about today is this one. Honey.